All right, what's good, you two? Welcome back to Mo Squad Podcast. I'm JoJo Easy. Master Mike. One more thing, man. Jay Renzo. All right, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it started. music and for this is a very special episode because we got two of us two very special guests our first guest found boss Don Van in the building welcome to social entertainment studio if you didn't know social entertainment is the big backing behind everything I do with final bosses if you didn't know at home I am the final boss Don Van there's a few other good men and women in leagues with me one of which is DJ Best Friend. I want to take a moment. Yeah. 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 I want to send out our love and R.I.P. to James Earl Jones. Man. Mm. Mufasa. R.I.P. Fat Man Scoop. R.I.P. Big Mufasa. Yes. Fat Man Scoop. We ain't never going nowhere Brooklyn. Goddamn. Exactly, man. Rich Homie Kwan. R.I.P. Rich Homie Kwan. And the legendary Frankie Beverly. R.I.P. Frankie. Lost too many people. Too soon. R.I.P. Charlie. Philadelphia and D.C. Native. That hurt me. Yeah. Poppy Hope still hurts me up to this day. R.P. Pop Smoke still. R.P. Pop Smoke still. That's the I love. And it was Thursday. Thursday has been 28, 28 years since Tupac passed away. The past R.P. Tupac. Um, 28 years. Tupac. So, a real one. All eyes are crazy, bro. Yeah. All eyes are crazy, crazy you, bro. Yeah. And he passed at like 24, so he would have been like, what, 52? Yeah, it's like that. Yeah. He would have uh, still been young. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy. Been young. yeah. Just crazy. about right. Yeah. So, so let's get into the topic, y'all. So first... How y'all feel about Kendrick hosting? He's still the goat. I don't care what he's doing. Honestly, it should be Lil Wayne show. because you know he's you know obviously born in uh, you know New okay. Orleans. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean so this is hometown though. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like it should have been him. Before, that's like but. saying if the Super Bowl took place in Bikini Bottom, that's like having Timmy Turner host the episode instead of SpongeBob. You feel me? Uh, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. We're, trying to, we're trying to get back to it. was normal. <laughs> I mean, I feel like they still gonna like bring Lil Wayne into the Super Bowl. He probably not gonna be on the headlines, but he gonna he'll be, be there. He'll yeah. be there. Yeah, that's disrespect, though. Remember yeah. that? How is that disrespect? No, it's like nah. You taking another man and another man's out, nah, bro. No, nah, bro. man, no. It's all love. Hip hop is all love. So I mean, it's disrespect. It's no. Because you know, it's Kendrick been popping. It's questionable. Kendrick been popping. Kendrick been popping all this year and all these really? drinks. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that, it's that, time that, for Kendrick to host a halftime show. I, 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 I salute him. So is this a sign saying Lil Wayne got stuff his game up a little bit? No, it's no, not. No, it's not. Now here's a question I have to ask to y'all. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Understand that the Super Bowl is in front of every. Body in America. I don't know how many household televisions, right? Mm-hmm. Let me ask y'all this. Playing devil's advocate, because I love Wayne. I'm a little bit older than y'all. That was our whole generation. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just yeah. want to know. <laughs> at a 13, out of out of a like 13 to 15 minute type set, because you only get like what, like 10? It's like 10, 11, yeah. somewhere between yeah, like sure. 10 to 13 minutes, something yeah, like that. Sure. So, what kind of set could Wayne put together that's kosher for TV though. That's gonna be like palatable for all these people at the Super Bowl. Versus a Kendrick who we all know he just had a really good year. Yeah. We all know what's going on. We know we know the climate right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like it's time to shine. So it's like on it's top of that, best. and and it's gonna be Black History Month. Yeah. Yeah. So like, you know. I'm black, y'all. I'm, I'm black, black, y'all. You know no, what I mean? Black, yeah, black, yeah, I'm black, y'all. Yeah, yeah. We know the bad. We know how, how the shit goes. They're not but, like us. But yeah. let me ask y'all, in Wayne's defense, because I really do want to see him in New Orleans at a Super Bowl, preferably this upcoming one. Mm. I, I hope they can find some kind of compromise. But on the real, what kind of set 
could he make up for that 13 minutes time frame that appeases everybody? Oh, to y'all knowledge. He and got a lot of his. He got a lot. So, so, so like, I, want, I know, I know a few of them. And to be honest, I see the wide discography, yeah. but from y'all point of view, because again, y'all were younger. So, how do y'all see Wayne? And can he pull off a Super Bowl for whole 13 minutes? I said like three songs, like 13 minutes, like three songs, right? It can be like about three songs. Yeah. So I say, make a I say uproar. I would say a up, million, a milli, and uh, six plus seven foot. Yeah, either, 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 six, either six plus seven foot or can't be broken. Can't be broken. Yeah, you cannot break down. I mean, nah, bro, nah, bro, no. They can do all they can. Nah, do. They can break them, break them. It's not that. Nah, you going? This is right. That's from the album. It's from the Carter Three. That's cool, but no, you going? You need something that's kind of actually everybody. Or really she will, did. she will. And this is another problem with Wayne's discography. For some people, those are like, oh my god, those are my songs. For some other people, some of these are deep cuts. Like, I had to, I was talking with somebody, and I'm like, um, I can see him doing, I think I pitched Uproar before, I think, uh, like Prom Queen, like uh, Lollipop. Even, but, 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 but again, it's like, the whole song is about, you know, yeah. Shorty want to lick him like a lollipop, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Little, little Timmy okay. trying to see Patrick Mahomes and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, also, fuck you, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, I said it. Oh, shit. Okay. Big Eagles. Did, did they win it? Did they win it? Did they win it? The Chiefs? He part of the Chiefs? You're not a Chiefs fan? No, fuck the Chiefs. Oh, damn. He was hurting some more night. He was hurting, bro. He was all West Philly race. He was hurting. He was hurting. all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm butthurt. <laughs> you know, sensitive. Okay, so yeah, so back to Wayne. So, so I, I, I thought uh, Uproar got to be a play. Uproar got to be a Go DJ. Go DJ. That's my D. You know, funny. that's that's honestly a song that introduced me to Lil Wayne. Cause me and my mom used to listen to Lil Wayne like all the yeah. time when I was like a kid. So I definitely listen to all his um from the Carter to the Carter uh, yeah. three. So yeah, yeah. I just I just feel like okay, if Wayne did do it, he can bring a lot of people because Wayne featured with a lot of artists. So yeah. that would be cool. And I feel like Kendrick might do that too. Feature a lot of artists. Yeah, but is that possible? Wayne, Wayne would have to feature yeah. though a lot of artists. Yeah, yeah. versus Wayne, Kendrick yeah. could probably hold no, he that solo. Yeah. And he still got the 10 minutes, like, everybody got, got the 30 seconds. He got a lot of solo hits, Lil Wayne does. He got a lot of solo hits. Where the hot boys at for y'all? The hot in this, boys? In this equation, where the hot boys at? Yeah, good point. Because that's what we see. You don't know. Hey, yeah. preach, preach to him, man, about the hot boys. Down. It's juvenile group, right? It's a juvenile, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. The juvenile is all I know from him. Back in the day, that's where Wayne started from. I know. He was like, part of that group. Like fifteen year old, the block is hot. Like, the the block is hot. So fresh. If he go up there, where's the rest of? I mean, Birdman you know probably go play with him. Louisiana? Birdman probably go play with him. I, I can't name Will. The only song I know about Birdman would not. No, stunned like my daddy. But Birdman's not really a rapper like that. He's a rapper, but he's stunned not. Like he's like like stunned like, like my daddy. Stunned like my daddy. I've been stunned like my daddy. Nah. Young stunners. <laughs> nah, nah. Like, like I said, like, oh, they gonna do well with Kendrick. It's time, and he deserves. It. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, he, he definitely deserves deserve it. it. Yeah, he's been yeah, sure. he working all or something. Exactly. Nobody saw this coming. Something. I didn't yeah. even. I didn't even know he was. He was going to even do that because he don't be on console like that. I could be wrong. I mean, he had like a, he had like a, like a two year hiatus. That's when he had like a two year. Like the last like, album was the Mr. Mr. Morale, Morale and the Big Step. Big Step. That was two years in the making. By the way, that's a certified platinum album. Karen J, you got your props. Mr. Morale, the best album of the twenty twenties. One of the best out of 2020. I'm gonna say that. That was 2020. Yeah. The, no, no, it was uh, 2020. the 2020s. Uh, 2020. Yeah, 2020s. Yeah. 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 yeah, 2020s. But I, I really, I really feel like Kendrick can definitely deliver it. And you know, they don't like us. Come on now. That's, that's a certified banger. Yeah. Wow, that's a banger. That's a banger. That's another topic. Mm-hmm. Are we gonna call Drake a pedo? We don't, don't on live television uh, in front of the entire. I mean, look, yeah, uh, my, my thing is, you gotta think about this. Like, you my, my thing is like that's a particular song. Even if it wasn't direct, directed at Drake as a diss, it would still be a banger. So y'all look at it that way. So it's a certified banger, guys. It could be even if it wasn't about Drake at all, it would still be a banger. Cause but the song is about a pedophile. But yeah. the song still go hard. It's still a catchy but banger song. But and people who know what happened, they're going to say that. Yeah. If it wasn't about Drake, it would still be a banger. That's my whole point. So why wouldn't why wouldn't they play that song at the Super Bowl? They play it at Disney World. They play that song. Yeah, they did. Yes, they were playing on a little Disney parade in uh, Disney World in Florida. They were playing it. Like, certified little boys. 
Yeah, she was pulling down on Instagram. What the hell? Bumba. Turn the bumba clock. That's the bumba clock. You know, Drake been pretty silent since Kendrick dropped that. I will be too. I will be too. What could he do? Like that, bro. What could he do? He said, "Go like that, bro. Go like that, bro. Go like that." But see, check this out, right? So, have you guys watched the VMA Awards? I did not. You did not. No, no, not really. Okay. Well, the thing was Friday. Anyways. So Sabrina Carpenter, oh, yeah, she, do make me. she had a song called Espresso. That song beat out They Not Like Us. Oh, it did it? Yes, it did. By, by, by how many votes? I don't know. We had to touch that up. What I'm trying to figure out is how is that song real big and then out of us is like a whole movement. You know, that's why I'm like, well, Sabrina, Sabrina, Carpenter, Sabrina Carpenter has a much wider audience. I didn't even know yeah. that. I ain't, I ain't know she, she sing like that. That's pop. I ain't know I only see her in Grammy's world. How about this play? They just yeah. play in America. What's it called? Okay. Express. They are Express big America. everywhere else. You talking about your Europe? Yeah. They probably go to Africa, do some Japan. The, uh, the Asia's been getting a lot of love lately from international artists. Yeah. That's a I really good look. Everyone, look. everyone in the world looks towards hip hop. I would so, say. But so the results. So Expresso, the the video by Sprint Card got 166 million views. Let's see, like, not like us. The not like us music video probably got more streams though. But not like us. Oh damn, we do got more views. That's what I'm saying. saying. No, I'm saying no. The, it got 132 million views the music video and Sabrina Carpenter's song has 166 million views. So it's like like 30 million more views than, than Kendrick Sabrina Carpenter got on that video. Mm-hmm. Because Sabrina's song came out before before Kendrick. I couldn't, months, I couldn't so be wrong. This song, Not Like Us, came out two months ago and Espresso, the music video, dropped five months ago. Yeah, that's the video. It's on the song. That's what's on the but song. But still, it's, either way, it's still more. If that's their top standings, maybe we can compare them. That's what, like YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Okay, well, comparatively speaking, mm-hmm. video for video, the analytics track that Shorty is going crazy. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I'm saying. I ain't realize yeah, that. Knows, she, she, she's a Disney star, so everybody's still going to That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Disney yeah, star. Yeah, she, I didn't even know that. Girl meets world. Girl meets world. Girl meets world. Girl meets world. She was a sidekick. Back in my day, it was boy meets world. That's, okay. that's, that's okay. good. Girl meets a spinoff. That's, that's their daughters. That's the main Topanga. What's the nigga name? Corey. Corey. Corey, Corey. Corey and Topanga's daughter is the main character in... Uh, Sabrina Carpenter plays the daughter's best friend. Yeah, fucking old. Where is Mr. Feeney? <laughs> 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 Mr. Feeney is great. Let me stop. No, he's not. <laughs> I like Mr. Feeney. No, he's not. He ain't don't do that. We just had a story. long list of people just like... I know. I, I, I apologize. I, 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 I know. I know. But you know, I ain't going to hold you right because I heard the song at work. And as person was song that bad, she got a good beat. And she looked good. She looked good. I said, dang. I said, okay. okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> some, some white girls would be on point with it. She looked good, mm-hmm. but like I said, I really didn't realize she was really that big. Because, you know, I don't hear nobody talking about her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Sabrina Carter is the best. Whoa. But like you know, said, I mean, I know, I nobody talks fault. about her like that. Nobody, everybody knows from Disney. That's the only reason I know her from Disney. Mm-hmm. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I guess in the circle we're in, you, you don't hear nothing about her, but you gotta go outside. Yeah, mm-hmm. you gotta listen, you gotta expand your taste in music. Yeah, Because yeah, pop artists, they be out here. Like, just the other week, I saw uh, Bruno Mars do a commercial in Japan. Bruno Mars? Yeah. Yep. I thought you were talking about Bruno Mars. I thought you were talking about Bruno Mars. You know you don't drop music for every five years, then drop with bangers, Ooh. and then leave again? Bruno, Bruno Mars. Mars. He made it all He doesn't do that, does he? Yeah, yeah. Bruno Mars yeah, yeah. yeah. bangers, bro. He, he makes, uh, what's it called? Joint for K Magic. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's why I like it. Touch the song. Uptown Funk. Yeah, that, that's the way it is. But look, that wasn't even a I song. I mean, he, he performed the it's song. It's the way yeah, he worked on record, too, that Mark you don't notice it's been out for so long. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, anytime we put out a record, like an album, per se, singles can even go crazy like this, but an album, you probably trying to milk that for like a year, bro. Mm-hmm. Now, you know what I'm saying? You got to put the regular out, the remix, put a chopped and screwed out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, chopped and screwed. Lyric and video, Bruno's the lyric, the video, the lyric, video, lyric, stuff. lyric video, visualizers, yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. So you're working, that, you're working that record probably for like a year or so. You gotta, to be honest. Uh, so. album is hard to make as an artist. The album is hard to make. It's a, it's a challenge. Like, yeah, it's, it takes some time and effort to actually make an actual good quality album, bro. Yeah. So, I like it. so I like yeah, it. y'all going to sit with my work for another two years. <laughs> yeah. They be doing that when when they, when they do re release them, they be coming in good too. Yeah. We actually be banging this. Like, and then we actually that's that's what uh Kendrick and J Cole did that the off season. Yeah. He did that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what y'all think about the Drake and Kendrick beef? Oh, I, I, I still don't know how it started. I still don't know how it started. Oh, yeah, I, still I know. No, cause I know you used like, I know I know you used to be good friends, make all these songs together, like they, they, got, they got a couple of good songs. Yeah, they got a couple of good songs together. But I know I know one is I know like uh like. 
No, I, 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 I know what happened with so so um J it just started with J. Cole. So J. Cole, remember the song uh, First Person Shooter? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. J. Cole uh said he was one of the top three, like him, Drake, and Kendrick were one of the top three. And then they made uh, that song uh, with Future, like, yeah, like, like that. that. And then Kendrick said, fuck nigga. He, told, he, he, he threw shade at Drake's album for all mm -hmm. the dogs. He yeah. said, I'm not only a dog in the case or something like that. And he said, fuck the top three, nigga, just beat me, right? And that's where the whole mm -hmm. kind of drama dynamic started. And nah, like, no, no, no. It's been longer than that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's been yeah, way yeah, longer yeah, like than that. Like 10 years, bro. Yes. Why? Yeah, yeah, I remember. They, remember. They've been beefing for a minute. Is it, is it hasn't just blown it's up like this? Passive through like passive through bars, bars, through certain events in hip hop shit like that like for example some people argue Big Sean control verse from way back mm -hmm. when was a starting point because when he listed everybody Drake was the only one but her and then that kind of started the ego thing wow and then, I mean I know that. I know that. to be honest this is all entertainment so you mm -hmm. can pick your point of entry with yeah. this beef mm -hmm. the bigger question going back to what he said is what do y'all think about it because me personally it was fun. It was funny. I was like, the whole this whole summer was funny. This whole summer was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this literally until February. I don't. I don't like how Drake said. I don't want to hear about this ever again. Pass the Super Bowl thing. Like, okay, get you to not like us off one more time. No, it's like Drake can't even know. He, he tried his best. Like, I ain't gonna lie. That song, that song, Fanny Man should go hard. That song, Fanny Man Drake did should go hard. I was really, really trying to keep it PG. Mm -hmm. That should go hard. That should go hard. That's the only thing song I like about that. That whole um, beef I never play. I say. Yeah, it definitely ran its course. By February, it should be like... Had the summer to choke. Had the summer yeah, to no, choke. Yeah. Had the summer to choke. So the fact that we know Kendrick is headlining just extended its shelf like all the way to February. Yeah. We want to see... Boom, 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 boom. With the dramatic horns yeah, and yeah, the big yeah. band and it, shorty... Some crit walking. Then, you know, the cheerleaders, <laughs> shorty story and shit. Like, Sometimes you gotta pop out and show And everybody you've seen at the... At the, uh, the pop-out Ken and Friends don't... Yes. You know they showing up. Oh, no, they definitely showing up. Tommy the Clown, like... Oh, but do you think... Nah, well, like, I, I, I ain't gonna say it. Because you know they play, like, what? Three different times? At the pop oh, at the pop out? Yeah. Uh, on, on June They June? ran it back. It was like seven yeah. times. Seven it was like six times. Six times? They didn't, the whole song didn't play through. You know, they yeah, keep running back to the pop 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 Always rapping like you're trying to get a slaves free, bro. He mm. he performed not like us seven times on Juneteenth. And it's about the next time we see him, we'll be black. That's so exactly that's how so cute, bro. He, 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 that shit backfired on Drake so bad. Oh wait, he see he doing shit literally. Always rapping, yeah, I'm doing shit, yeah, bro. I'm really doing it now. What now? <laughs> always rapping like you trying to get slaves free. Yeah, bro, I, I, like the the beef, you know. That hip hop is about no, beef. Yes, it like, is. Hip hop is is about. Well, it's not oh, wait, about my bad. That's that's cool. beef. That is cool. my bad. Not the beef. Not the beef. No, I'm There's talking about space for uh, it. The rap battles. Rap battles. Yeah. Rap battles. Yeah. That's different. That's what I meant. A rap battle. Even hold that, up. I would say there's space for it, but yeah. I don't think a rap battle, battle and a beef are two different things. Wait a minute. Beef. I'm thinking about two different things. Hold exactly. Up. My yeah. bad. Hold up. Well, you know what? I feel like the beef is like they they not really mad at each other. They just they just kind of competitive. No, yeah. they they, they were competitive. Actually, they were actually mad at each other. Like it was, it wasn't like it wasn't playing. I don't think this hip hop is not about that. I don't it's think Kendrick it. Lamar said that had a mutual agreement. This was gonna happen. No, I mean I know that. I mean yeah, I mean yeah. Throw throw this at each other. But like I said, like you know what, publicity too. You know the angle. You know yeah, it's like it was like they, they, they knew he was doing. They, they were going they were going ball for ball on that shit too, bro. That's what I'm saying. He's like a, a new diss every week, like type shit. Bro. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so it was incredible to see it. You know, two two juggernauts. Of the of the twenty first century yeah. is incredible. Yeah, I've never heard, I've never heard yeah. of that word. Me either, not me, me either. He said me, he said me either, not me. He said me either, me not either. Not. But like I said, like <laughs> come on, you, you know what? Look, com uh, comparison: Biggie and Tupac in the nineties. Uh, okay. That was not. not you can't no, you can. no, I'm not comparing. You can, you can yeah, but like a you you can because I think fairly speaking, we got a big, we got a better beef out of Drake. And Kendrick, exactly. entertainment wise, okay. but I think the bigger beef is just clearly the Pac and Big because yeah. that shit is still like I, I was like the the, the the founding of all hip hop beef. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I feel like it was like yeah, two Pac and Biggie be that that's like sparked a whole different revolution. But that's the thing; it wasn't really no beef. It was just between East Coast and West Coast. It wasn't really no beef. I mean, two Pac and Biggie represent these sides. So. Yeah, it wasn't really no beef. I but, might make some niggas mad with this statement. Hip hop started in the seventies with Cool Herc and them in New York. Yes, it did. So by the time, so by, so by, yes. so by the time like Pac and them get the beef in, hip hop is like twenty. 
Hip hop is like twenty years old. Maybe that, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that was right like, now it's fifty. Yeah. It's when, when did Tupac rise to prominence? It was like in the nineties, like nineteen ninety five. That's the nineties. Okay. Yeah, hip hop been around for like yeah, said tw- like twenty That's years. Insane. It was only like twenty years. And it was still existing. They just they just made it like popular type exactly. shit. Exactly. They made it like worldwide known facts. And that same time frame, these people are still you can go to Africa, people know who Tupac Biggie yeah. is. Like, you know, there's a few, there's only a few people on that list, kinda going back into the Sabrina Carpenter thing and like how <laughs> media and shit spreads, right? Yeah. Like people, like people TikTok. Across, we got TikTok now. People we got TikTok know, now. They know Fifty Cent. They know Snoop. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's a level of recognition, I would say. Yeah. That kind of defines these beefs and like, because when now we got like Kendrick and Drake, where Kendrick is coming back into prominence. I love Kendrick, but let's keep it a hundred. Nobody was people for Kendrick at that moment in time until until shit started getting spicy. Now he's running with it because he has the talent. The, Time potential too that like, we knew we could. Imagine if Drake won the won the beef. Imagine if Drake actually outdid Kendrick in them songs, and he had the banger. He had the banger at the end of the day. I couldn't see it happen. Like, nah, cause Drake, Drake already got a lot of allegations. So, and Kendrick, Kendrick, I feel like he's he's a peaceful nigga. I feel like Kendrick Lamar is a peaceful individual. I got, I got, I got a family. Yeah, I, I think, shit, I think, I think Kendrick is a, a he's a, he's a, I feel like outside of music and his beef, I feel like in real he's a humble, like a good spirited person. Yeah, I would say that. Like outside of the rap beef, like yeah. Like, you, you don't hear, I don't think, Kendrick, like, you, you don't hear no drama about him. You don't, like, kind of like J. Cole, like, Kendrick, you don't hear nothing. He stayed himself. You don't hear no, you don't hear no drama about him. They both chill. They involving both Kendrick and J. Cole. They but himself. it's on brand, too. Like, you might hear shit about Drake, but he's in that poppy lane. That's kind of on brand for Drake, the Drake up here. Drake got so many enemies. I ain't gonna hold Drake up here. Drake up here. Kendrick, like, me, like, a, like right here, because involving, like, popularity-wise and, like, how many, like, how much uh, influence they have on people. You know what I mean? Cause like you can you can have a you can have a, a feature with Drake and be famous overnight. Literally, you can buy a feature yeah. with Drake and be famous. And you smile, we're smiling, we're smiling over the top. <laughs> Whoop is over the top. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm saying like Drake has that power to actually put people on just by put his name on a song and have have a feature. But Kendrick, like you don't you don't hear no no like outside influence and and negativity towards ne- negative um, activity involving Kendrick. That's what I'm trying yeah. to make a point. So let's talk about. The taste in our music, what kind of music we love. Yeah, I'm also on Kendrick, bro. It's fun. Uh, it's I mean, fun. It's fun, but yeah. I mean, you can talk about this stuff all day. Right? Yeah, yeah, we, we gotta right. keep the show. Moving on, guys. Moving on. Moving on. All right, right. Boy, I got to go. He one said, here. "Come on, man." So right, the, the taste. So I'm, I'm gonna go first. Jazz. Like pop. jazz? Yes, I do. I See, the jazz culture is going down. It is, and it's yeah, not I good too. Lie. I mean, I feel like in certain areas of the United States, like where jazz is actually like really, really recognized and. And no notable for like like New Orleans and places like the jazz capitals of the world, they'll they never go, they'll never like really go out of out of style. But it's like like DC and Go Go. We never never you'll never get tired yeah, of being in DC. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Go Go is known for across the East Coast, no, not just yeah, like DC. But and while they while they made Go Go popular across the United States, he did. He revolutionized Go Go. He's from he's only one, nah, one he's one of the only like big no. mainstream artists from DC. No, yes, no. him and him and Chip and Shy Brown. That's up for him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Tell him, tell him, no. Way before that, and Chuck Brown. Chuck Brown, no, no, no. Wale, okay, all right, all right. You can say for like hip hop wise, but global mainstream. That's what I mean. I mean hip hop wise. Nah, yeah. While we're on the topic of Gogo, I just want to take this time right now to shout out the Heartbeat Comic Podcast. Social entertainment is in the building with that as well. Every Wednesday, 9 and 11 on Urban yeah. Smart Network. You know, you find us and you check it out. DJ is oh, the number one DJ in the world. DJ Best Friend. Again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don Van pops out from time to time. Be on the lookout from that as well. One but week. one thing I learned hanging with them cats, the history of specifically Gogo and introduction into the world goes way back before like the internet got popping. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yes, that's right. Like they had bands in London in the 70s. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Really? I didn't know that. Like BBC. In the 70s, 80s, 90s type shit, they had people. They had people el- everywhere in this world. Oh, it's think about it. Think about it this way. Like, um, y'all heard doing the butt. Oh, yeah, doing the butt. Doing the butt. Yeah. Now yeah. that went crazy. They worked at like a regular record. Yeah. So right. you talking about niggas in North Carolina talking about doing the butt? Yeah. yeah that's that's what's 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 they don't. They don't know what this. They don't know what we. We don't. We. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they don't know what culture is. They don't know what topping is and beat the feet. So it's like the way with DC. And while we're on the topic of 
like area subgenres, right? It's a lot of like going back to what New Orleans they got their bounce beat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of different stylistics yeah. else, elsewhere in the country. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You can hear it in hip hop now with especially hip with like a uh, drill and shit like that. Yeah. But as far as it pertains to go go, we didn't have a long road of introduction. I think maybe the state in which it is in for people to know that ain't the best, and maybe like we as the culture and as a whole, the people who live here, people who, and, and take it all that shit. Mm. Maybe we can we can pivot into a point to where we start putting it back into that mainstream level. Yeah, but yeah. but Gogo was around like it's a whole thing. Like Gogo is alive for a reason. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right now, it's just not being catered to because we got a lot of hip hop shit going yeah, we on. Got like it's here time to shine. But there, there but like I said, and yeah, and you can see us on Heartbeat Conda. There is many resources out there that you can actually learn and get with GoGo and like actually learn the background and get to listen to some songs. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, going answering his question. I love death. I I love uh, death metal and gangster rap. Straight up, anybody mm -hmm. seen my playlist? They'd be like, Dom, you, you go get help. However, you like death metal, really? I I love metal. He's about to take a call. Okay. Yeah. So um. So yeah, I feel like so my taste, my taste in music. So I'm a, I'm a very diverse music person. So I like if I if I listen to a song, it can be a gospel song, it can be a country song, it can be a hip hop song. If I if I like the song, I will listen to it no matter what the genre is. But especially for R and B, R and B is very. You can do a lot with R and B. Like you, you can you can be a you can be a, you can do a lot of R and B. So mm -hmm. I, I think my, my top favorite genres are in um in no particular order hip hop R and B gospel country <coughs> and R and B. So I, I like I like a little bit of everything, but I listen to a little bit of pop. So um I like a I like a the only you, know, you choke on your hair where you go. Yeah, so, so so like I said the uh. A popular um like rock band I love that I always defend is uh Imagine Dragons. I love Imagine Dragons. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm fucking up. I'm feeling in my soul. Matter to the land of the dead and broke. Welcome to the new age. To the new age. You know the pause for the new age. Boom boom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, shout out Imagine Dragons. I fuck with them. So one of the only uh. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. So I, I'll they say. They get streams. They get streams. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. They're but living like, comfortably. They're living comfortably. But they fucking suck. No, they do. Yeah, they oh, do. Oh, oh, no, no, no. 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 They got no more. What about like uh, what about sharks? That bones? That joint with a little way? Wait, whatever tastes was so good. I'm just a sucker for pain. I want it. That's a lot. That's a great one. Suicide Squad. Demon. When the days are cold in the car. That's a great one. Nah, it ain't my favorite it video. Feels like like a re it feels like a rewrap of like Train or like One Republic or some no, shit. Not. I don't fuck Train is soft. Train is soft. Mm -hmm. Train is soft too, but they're not trying to like be Imagine know. Dragons. Yeah. And they hit their mark more. And, and, and. I feel like Jupiter is better, written better than anything. Anything Imagine mm -hmm. Dragons have ever, ever I got, put I got, I got, I got to say anything. Mm -hmm. You be a mighty player, bro. You be a mighty player. Hey, I'm trying to hear what you got to say. Anything. I feel like. I feel like. I feel like Jupiter is a motherfucking like, classic. I feel like Imagine Dragons got more bangers than Train. I, 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 I agree. Imagine Dragons got more bangers than Train. The only thing I know a song for Train is Hazel. That's all. It's not the only thing I know. Why did you use Train as an example? But y'all really love Imagine Dragons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't saying that. 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 Just the same as I was. That shit crazy, bro. Y'all know the one. Walk me like a whip, whip, run me like a whip. Oh, yeah. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. That's a lot. Make me a believer. Believer. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bad thing. Imagine Dragon, they got some bad ones, yo. I like the enemy song they did. The what? Oh, the music. Yes. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hear a singer. I hear a singer. Back in my day. <laughs> I hear a singer. <laughs> and still to this day, Patrick Stump will wash the fuck out of Who? me. Who? Skunk. Patrick Stump. Fallout Stump. Boy. Stump. Fallout Do your Googles. Okay. Follow they won't wash oh the shit God. out of them. 
We've heard some. And everybody in that class went Fall Out Boy. Thanks for Back in my day, we was rocking with the Chiodos, the Fall Out Boy. Fuck it. Don't get me started on other bands. Like these are their these are you these are our Magic Dragons daddies. Man, that's what you guys are. And it's the same genre. These motherfuckers walk so that Magic Dragons and them can run. Have you ever listened to a Fall Out Boy song? Okay. No, so, no, so, no, so, no, so, none. And that's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> He's like, I'm trying to say. Wait, the gospel falls upon death. Oh, oh, Jesus wait. Christ. Oh my God. Oh, one nice. more chance. Thanks for the memories, even if it weren't so great. Yeah. You never heard Dance Dance? What about Dance Dance? Uh, we going down swing? Yeah. What about Century? I need you to say Oh, my God. We're going to be playing right now. What you know about this? I don't know this shit. Yeah, um, so, so much artists. We on bands now, so you know this band called Rixton. Rixton, you know band. It sounds familiar. Yeah, I'm British not niggas. Familiar. I heard the British niggas. It, it sounds yeah. like yeah. I know the name, but I'm not. Me and my broken heart. It's me and my broken heart. Okay, I know the song. song. Uh, all I need is a little loving tonight. Oh, oh that was that. Oh, oh wow. Well. That was the yeah. That was on Nickelodeon, bro. It was the uh, Haunted Hathaway. Oh, top, top ten. Top ten. So on Haunted Hathaway, he's making his appearance. Did y'all do Lincoln Park? Lincoln Park, come on. Yes. Yes. Ooh, yes. Come on. Good job, audience. Come on. Good job. 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 Is have it's funny that you mentioned that, right? Okay. Do y'all have any knowledge of the local scene? We don't have to stay on it too too long. Like DC D music? What? Yes. Like but there's a current there's, current D music? Yes. Yes. Because there are some really awesome bands out there right oh, now. Oh bands? Really? I, I'm gonna tell you right now. Number one, mm -hmm. Hugh. Shout out to Hugh. Who's um, thanks for asking. They are probably you and them and them. No, no, no. <laughs> Those are my boys, though. Them and I would say another act, Breeze Supreme, probably the two best rock go go fusion acts out right now. Okay. Um, and going back to the topic of <clears throat> bands being in major productions, right? Those two just play Afro Punk. Killed. Really? Yeah, and another, it, was an, it was another artist from this area. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The name escapes me right now. It's a, a lovely young woman, I think. She's like Waldorf based. I, I could be completely wrong. Waldorf, okay. But it's a, mm. but it's I, the name that escapes me right now in the moment. But we had some really good acts come out of here. Uh, Bad Brains, pioneers in the punk scene, DC. Um, uh, I think there's another band named Bad Moves. I believe they just they actually got animated on Craig of the Creek. Really? Oh. Yeah. oh. They, they had their own episode and everything too. Shout out to them. Oh, okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of good bands yeah. around here. Shout out to Cortland. Shout out to the Cooling Experiment. Shout out to All Hail. I yeah. see y'all still. We, we keep, keep working, y'all. Keep working. Keep um, working. You know, back in my so day, I was wow. big for managing like the rock bands and the artists. Right now, we're just kind of in my in my field of things. We're just kind of pushing mm. the artists, trying to position everybody in, in better places mm -hmm. versus like that management control. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, without a shadow of a doubt, that. These bands are revolutionizing the scene and bringing that kind of groove back. You know what yeah, I mean? That's good. Again, I'm a, I, I gotta say, it. Hugh, All Hell, Cortland, my, uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of good acts out there. Shout Big out Breeze Supreme. Big props. Shout out to all the rock adjacent people, your Jabba's, the 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 Karmas, all the all the hip hop acts that are like rock adjacent, and everything. Mm -hmm. It's trying to make an imprint, and if we could just own that imprint. That would be fucking awesome, DMV. This is Don Van, the final boss. Time we we got to start loving each other, DMV. We got to start supporting each other. We gotta these start big going. names, we can get these we gotta people start supporting each other. to the stature of the Magic Dragons. Yeah, yeah. They support the building. Yeah, yeah we got to be building, yeah. building each other up. Yeah, yeah. facts, no, facts. No, we can rule the world. No more violence. No more violence, DMV. We're against yeah. DMV violence. No more violence. Facts, though. So, so now it's time for our game oh, for the guests. Okay. For the guests. Okay. Oh, shit. So, for both of y'all here, better get ready. Go ahead. Is it like a versus? Is it a team thing? Is it? Oh, I ain't no team, nine separate. Go, uh, go ahead. Okay. GGs, bro. GL, GGs. Have fun. So know, for my, since we, we talking about, damn, you gonna get. Since we talking about bands, I got a little small game for you. Okay. You can name me five bands in under ten seconds. <laughs> five? five? No, 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 no. no. Right. This is for the guests, bro. Yeah, for oh, it. Oh, okay. All right. We're gonna start with you, Frank the Tank. All right. 
I'm counting down. down. Wait, wait, hold on. Can it be any band? <laughs> any band? Yeah, yeah, I was, I was thinking about that. If you add Gogo, that might help him a lot, honestly. Because I'm about to just smoke this. You said five seconds? You know what? I'll add Gogo for you. Hmm. Yeah, if it helps, I'll add Gogo for you. All right, man. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Go. One, two, three, four. Five. Oh, wait, hold up. Wait, wait. I thought you was counting down. Hold up. I thought you was like counting down. Hold up. I thought you was like counting down. Hold up. Count down. Dad, I thought you was counting down. Okay, okay. I'll count down. All right. Ready? Set. Go. Imaginative dragon. Nine. Eight. Reaction dragon. Seven. New impressions. Four. Three. Oh, like that, bro. One. Imagination Dragon. <laughs> Imagination Dragon. <laughs> I said How many bands we have the list? Five. Okay. Alright, ready, Dom? I'm ready. Alright. Go. Ten. Emerald, Sixteen and Var. Eight. Tall's seven, Lions. Fallout six, Boy. Chio Four. That was, that was Yep. I could have kept going. Like, I know. That's all I'll be frank. I was like, no, I was like, all right, yeah, we all want to band band right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Alright, alright. All right, Jerry, you next. Ready? Wait, just all bands. Yeah. All bands. You know, all all bands. bands. No matter what, 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 yeah. what thing. No matter what thing. No, no matter what genre. All, all genre. Band. All bands. Band. Yeah. He's, okay. All right, ready? Yeah. Go. Ten. Doobie Brothers. Nine, Doobie Mint eight, Condition. Seven. Uh, tw six, uh, Drew Hill. Five. One twelve. Four. <laughs> uh, Fat Ooh. Boys. Is, is that, that a band? Is that a band? Oh, it is. It is. said band. It's a group. It's a band. Rocks. However, I think we all meant. Live instrumentation. Yeah. Like, what? Like, Wait a minute. You said. Trumpet and trumpet and shit. You said any genre. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. All right. No, 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 no. Hey, Gogo has the yeah. same setup as like a rock band. They got monitors and shit in the front. They got percussion. They, 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 they got guitars. They got keyboards. They got, they got the same So we're talking about actual like. It's like it's live it's like, instruments. Like, bands. Oh, a band man. and a group of two different things. So 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 how so how many did I get? How many did I get? You can let them rock with that. I got I got because they are technically living as bands. You ready? Is that? All right. Ready with them. Go. Ten. Uh, Nine, new impressions. Backyard eight, band. Seven, Battle Dragons. Five six, Seconds of Summer. Rickston. Uh, One Direction. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very much. Yep. Go. Ten. Queen, nine. Eight. Uh, Imagine Dragons. Seven. Six. Uh, five. Young Money. And, four. Uh, three. Oh, it's a band. Two. Young Money. Say Young Money. Young Money. You, you, you can't use it. He uh, starts wrong. Other people's. You can't. And Young Money was a band that would be playing the Super Bowl. They wouldn't be dogging right now. Your money. Okay, I ain't got no spine. Really, uh, really, uh, All right, yeah. come on, calm me down. All right, I go. Ready? Yeah. One. Ready? Out, Chili Peppers. Some Forty One. Eight, All American four, Rejects. Five. Six, All Out Boys. Seven, and eight. Nine. Ten. That's four. What? That's four. What? Wait, wait. That's four. I had the last one. Oh, okay. That's it. That one. You ain't seen it. All right, well, okay. Jojo, you crashed out. You uh, crashed out. Uh, out. Uh, <laughs> You had it. It was CLC. Because you said Queen. That's why. That was my last one. He said Queen. I forgot about it. It's a band. I got another one. A band like freaking drums. Right. But since we're on the topic, here's a question. He's best friend. You still good? You still recording? Here's a question for y'all. If y'all had to describe yourselves to someone in five songs, what songs would you pick? I'll go first. Lil Wayne, Can't Be Broken. Uh. I'm at the buffer for a second yeah. thinking about this shit. Yeah, you oh, got yeah, yeah, about this thing. Oh, right. It took me the longest thing about this one. Lil Wayne can't be broken. Uh, my Tan 300, Buster Rhymes, Imagine Dragons, uh, Radioactive. Uh, um, what's that nigga name? Uh, <laughs> what's, that, what's that white boy name? Um, Robin Thicke, Blurred Lines. <laughs> wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Okay. Blurred Lines yeah. means something to me. Yeah, like, that describes like, that that describes <laughs> Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey look. Do you know what he's talking about? Yeah, talking about, about Tim and the Wild Bitch. <laughs> Didn't he say that? It's more than that, Will. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right, right, yeah. Uh, so, what I say, I was at four. Red flag. Stay no more is excellent. I'm going to stay that way till the day I die. Give me a beat. I'm blessing it with my six glow and fire rhymes. All these niggas copping me. All these niggas just be some minds. But that ain't stopping me. It's more time. I'm still finna shine like the sun or a light bulb. Touch me and you'll get burned.